I took a picture of this handbag and I'm going to use the marquee tool, the magnetic lasso tool, and I'm going to extract it by going along the edge, holding the left mouse button down, and just kind of dragging along the edge. keeping it depressed Then when it comes to the beginning that little circles there and you let go now you see we didn't get it perfectly but that's no problem because we know how to use our marquee tools here's the polygonal lasso tool and here's the add to the selection see the little plus in the corner See, we add it to the selection here. Okay, we'll move up a little. Add it here. And we can take away over here. And we'll take our little hand tool, we'll move around. We can go in a little closer. We can add to here. Okay, we'll look here. Go to the edge. We can take away here. And move around. And we can take away here. There we are. Now we get to this point and we go edit cut, edit paste, then we can take our layers and we can do this and we can move it and transform. Make sure because this is a photograph that you have your preferences set to by cubic because you do want this to be tonal and soft edges. Click the corner, hit the link, pull it down, hit your enter key, and we can duplicate. We can then make this a gray tone, adjustments, and desaturate takes any color out that's in there, and then duplicate it. and duplicate it again there we are and then we're going to open up our palette this is our default color swatch and we made ourselves a Pantone color palette there's a lot of palettes here in the library but we created one so let's say we're going to load our swatches there it is, our custom swatch palette. Oh, I think I was supposed to select replace swatches because if you load your swatches, they come on to the end of the default palette. But if you have replace swatches, they come in place of the other palette. So if I want a color on a certain layer, I pick the color I want. I pick this red. I have this bag selected. I go to Image Adjustment, Use Saturation, and I hit Colorize. And if I want it more saturated, I can make it more saturated. There it is. And then I can select another one. And I can hit a brown adjustment, Colorize a little more saturated. This one's a brown and this one is going to be 
a jade, a little more saturated. There it is. I'm going to put on the background. I'll put a white background on. Or I can make it a I can make it a gray background. Okay, then I can take the handbags one at a time and I can put a layer style of a drop shadow on them. Here's the distance of the shadow and the spread and the angle here it is and go back to this one and say new style this is bag shadow Okay, and then for the next bag, all we have to do is go to the styles, go to the very end. Okay, so the shadow, shadow, and shadow. And there we are. We've got custom fashion colors on these handbags. using our custom-made palette. So we recolored these handbags.